Do you expect the Fed to start a mini easing cycle in July? That, that, that's a good question. I think if you look at the, the market expectations, they're, they're basically pricing in your two rate cuts already. Um, the, the big question obviously is whether they start moving, uh, when, when they actually start initiating that. And I think everything is really going to depend on the data that's coming, going to come out over the next month or so. Um, but if, effectively, all the data that we've seen in, in, in recent weeks suggests that uh, the US economy is slowing um, in line with uh, pretty much the global economy. Um, if you look at the non-farm payrolls, for example, it's been pretty disappointing uh, last Friday. Um, so I think that the, char the odds of a July move is uh, definitely higher now, um, but there, there's still uh, various variables that, that, that need to fall in line first before the Fed will probably pull the trigger. Okay, so there need to be some variables in line, but are you actually preparing the portfolio for those Fed rate come, cuts to come, Daryl? I mean, we heard from Paul Tudor Jones. He's talking about his uh, Fed rate cut 101 trade. So long rates, long stocks, long gold, short dollar. How are you preparing the portfolio for Fed rate cuts? Well, um, right now we are not positioned for positioning the portfolios for a rate cut per se because we, when we look at the, the, mm. the marketplace today, uh, we actually position relatively defensively. Um, so we're, we're not actually exactly going long equities at this point in time. Uh, we actually underweight equities because we see that there's still quite a number of risk on the horizon. Uh, trade tensions is the, the number one concern right, right now. Uh, obviously, everything depends on what happens in the G20 end of this month. Um, but also, what we, what we need to wait to see for is, uh, is a pickup in the, the global economic data because uh, global PMIs have uh, inched down below the 50, 50 level. Um, and that, that's a bit, of, a bit of a concern for us. Economic surprise index as well has been disappointing. Um, so at, at, at least based on our readings on the market, it suggests to, to a more defensive positioning, which is why we are underweight equities and we're holding quite a bit of cash at this point in time, waiting for uh, probably a level to go back into the equity markets again.